What we're trying to do is to clip the nail while making it feel as comfortable for the dog as possible. So I start off by taking the front off like that and then I'll take underneath. Now you can see he's just pulled his paw away a little bit there because he's not very comfortable with that. So I'm just holding it again and I'm marking and treating him for letting me keep a hold of it. And the reason why he pulled it away is because this area here, he flinched when I touched it there. It's ticklish. They don't feel very comfortable with it. So I tend to take it around there. Just try and show you with, with that one. It's not very well focused, but you can just about see. So there, I'm just going to take it off like that. He's a clever boy. His marker is Chi Chi. So he's okay with me doing that. And then I'm just going to take it at that angle. I'm holding it a little bit harder so that I can do that. I mark and treat him after every single one. Um, this thing of only paying the dog at the end seems a bit tight-fisted to me. Um, he's doing a good job. He's lying here and letting me do this. Good boy. You can't see, but he's smiling at me. Good boy. So then again, I've taken that top bit of it off. You can. I don't know if you can see. There's quite a little hook there underneath now. Now I've gone that way and I've taken that off um, and and again I don't think it's that easy to see but his quick nearly is at the end of where I've taken it off. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll see groomers saying that it's absolutely fine to bite into that quick as will vets say it isn't, it hurts, there's a reason why it bleeds. Um, so it's much better to do little nibbly bits in the way that I've just done with these clippers. 